Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do some work problems. Let's look up here. If it takes a girl 20 hours to do a job, that's one job, what is her rate? Well, her rate is one job per 20 hours, which is the same as one twentieth of a job per hour. So her rate is one twentieth of a job per hour. This is a unit rate. Remember doing unit rates in pre-algebra? Okay, now let's do a real work problem. This is your basic ordinary work problem. Sue can fill a shipping order in 13 hours. Fred takes 16 hours to fill the same order. The story problem on my math lab goes on to say that Fred is a new employee and that's why it takes him longer. How long would it take them both working together? All right, here are three possible formulas you can use and they all come from this formula right here. 1 over A plus 1 over B equals 1 over C. Where the A is the first person or machine doing the job alone, so that would be Sue's time, and uh, the B would be the second machine or the second person's time working alone doing that job. And C would be the time of both machines working together or both people working together. And you would fill in the numbers you know and solve for the letter you don't know. Another version that's more common in college algebra is, in fact, the two alternate formulas below the basic formula. C over A plus C over B equals 1. That 1 stands for one job. And C times 1 over A plus C times 1 over B equals 1. And you see what A, B, and C are defined right here. Okay. Well, your book uses the second alternate formula, so we actually might as well use that. So I'm going to use that. Let's let A be Sue's time working alone. That'll be 13. Let's let B be Fred's time working alone. And C is going to be the time working together. So our equation is going to be 1 over 13 plus 1 over 16 equals... Oh, I didn't do that, did I? Okay, okay, yeah. C over 13 plus C over 16 equals 1. Now we've got it. Okay, the strategy now, because this is a rational equation, is to multiply through. Multiply both sides of the equation by 13 times 16, because you want to cancel out 13 and you want to cancel out 16. So we'll take 13 times 16 and we'll multiply that by the left side of the equation. And multiply it by the right side of the equation. Now there's no real need for me to multiply on the left. You'll see why. I'm going to take 13 times 16 times C over 13 plus 13 times 16 times C over 16, and that's going to equal whatever 13 times 16 equals. Let's see. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry the 1. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7 and 1 times 13 is 13, so we're going to have 208. Okay, now let's go back to the left. The whole reason for this multiplication, the whole reason for doing this, is so that the 13s can cancel each other there, and the 16s 
can cancel each other here. So we're going to have 16C plus 13C equals 208. That will be 29C equals 208. Divide by 29 on both sides to get C by itself. And now, we're going to find out what C equals. C equals 208 over 29 is acceptable because the instructions say in my math lab say that you can write the, the, uh, the answer as uh, an integer or as a fraction. And here's our fraction, but I am going to math frac that just to make sure it's in lowest terms. So I'm going to say 208 divided by 29, enter. Whoops, I mean math frac. Nope, 208 over 29 is it. Okay. Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do a more involved work problem. Andrew can paint a house six times faster than Bailey. Together, they can paint a house in seven days. How long does it take each of them to paint the house alone? Now, this is a little more difficult, and it's also a little more tricky. Read the first sentence. Andrew can paint a house six times faster than Bailey. All right, now, in regular algebra, back in Chapter 2, um, we learned that uh, if you say that a number is six times another number, then the way you would write that would be x and 6x, and it would be clear that 6x was bigger than x. Now, you have to kind of stop and think about this, because you've got Andrew, and Andrew is six times faster than Bailey. So, for instance, if, if my, initially you might think, that we would let Andrew be 6x, Andrew's time rather, and Bailey's time be x. Because after all, Andrew can go six times faster than Bailey. But no, that's not going to work. Because Andrew is not taking, well, for instance, if Bailey took one day, that would mean Andrew would take six days. So Andrew would actually be the slower one. So that's not going to work at all. Since Andrew is six times faster than Bailey, we're actually going to mark through this and this. And what we're going to say is that Andrew takes X days to paint the house alone. And Bailey is slower. Bailey takes six times more. In other words, if Andrew is six times faster, then Bailey is six times slower. And so this is what we're going to use for Andrew's time and Bailey's time. Now, the time together is seven days. So if we use the uh, formula that we've talked about before, which is time together over the time it takes the first person or machine to do the job alone, plus time working together over the time it takes the second person or machine to do the job alone, then we'll have one job completed. All right, so let's try this. We'll have 7 over x plus uh, 7 over 6x equals 1. All right, now. 
I have to multiply by a number large enough to cancel out an x and a 6x. But notice that the x is in the 6x. So all I really need to multiply by is 6x. And I'll multiply the left side of the equation by 6x and the right side of the equation by 6x. So we'll have 6x times 7 over x plus 6x times 7 over 6x equals 6x. The x's cancel here, the 6x's cancel here, and what you're left with is 6 times 7, which is 42, plus 7 equals 6x. So you'll have 49 equals 6x, and then divide both sides by 6 to isolate the x, and we'll have we'll have what? Oh, it says give your integer, give your answer as an integer or a fraction or a mixed number, but not as a decimal. Okay, well, we've got 49 over 6, and I guess we could give the answer that way. Hold on for a minute. 49 over 6 is as small as it gets, so we can go with that, and uh, I'll talk to you later.